Illegalese, Floodgate Dub, Wade Compton. For the Chinese Maroons, British Columbia, 1999 to 2001. If you arrive in the belly of a rusting imagination, there are grounds to outlaw you. But Canada is a remix B-side chorus in the globalization loop. A sample track of back home desiring, old days admiring, democracy dreaming, racism reaping homesickness that even Medicare can't cure. There is no fresh off the boat or the plane or the hope of consistency in foreign and foreigner policy or obduracy of floodgate metaphors and death sentence deportations. The backbeat backbone of the chorus that screeches back home is the drum and bass treble track alliteration of coma, 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 gadamaru. And the stowaway that the border refused will be the headstone of the corner. When the destination is a nation that prides itself as peacekeeping, but is still sleeping on the justice and compassion, lacking in that back home, back home, back home. When jurisdiction cuts the earth to the bone, the proper diction is the unspoken issue. And the flesh of the people's color in the boats, in the hull, in the belly of a dream without papers or definition, in quotations, refugee, a pen stroke from relief, languishing in the languaged exile of illegalese. And if it was heroic for runaway slaves to seep into Canada, why is it vilifiable for Chinese migrants to hide in the belly of a dream now? And when you want to draw the line or put your foot down or formulate enough is enough is enough is enough, what color is enough? <laughs> what language does it speak? And isn't that the real issue written between the bordered lines, the bartered lives in this semantic peanut and shell game? In barricaded comfort behind armchair palisades, wielding remote control diplomacy like a wand, we cultivate our cathode curtain without detente. With children lullabied by Filipino nannies, industry is carving up the melon of our lotus coast. And floodgates, they say, have said, and ever shall say. But people are not a flood. Borders are not God-given. Lives are not dollars. And Canada is not the sum of its exclusions.